Okay, we're gonna look today at solving um, for a matrix, and it could be a systems for a matrix or just a matrix trying to find that missing thing. So let's go back to some basics. I'm gonna take a side note here. If you have an equation like three times x equals six, if I'm trying to solve for x, the opposite operation of this three times is gonna be dividing by three. And it leaves you with really one x equals two. And we usually just say that's x equals two. This one is called our identity. Multiplying by one does not change the value of anything. Matrix multiplication is a little different because as you remember from last time, we do the whole row times the whole column. So we can't just multiply by one here in a matrix because it will change the values of it. But these identity matrix matrices where there's ones along the diagonals and zeros everywhere else is what our identity is. It's like basically that idea of the one in front of X, okay? If you don't tr trust me, take it, take any matrix, any two by two that you multiply this by, it will give you two, that same two by two. Take any three by three, multiply it by this, it will give you that same three by three. So now let's read the top. It says two n by n matrices are inverses of each other if their product are uh, in both orders is the n by n identity. So here it's saying the inverse is an important thing. Because rather than this dividing by three, like we had here, we don't have this division in matrix multiplication or matrices. Our inverse is going to take place of that dividing to undo a matrix. So the symbol for matrix A is gonna be A to the power of that little negative one. Okay, so the next few steps we're gonna do is simply how do you find the inverse of a matrix. Specifically, we're going to cut two by two, so that's all I'm going to expect you to do. So to find the inverse, we first need the determinant. The determinant of a square matrix is found as follows. So we're going to take A times D, and then we are going to subtract C times D. Sorry, C times B. I misspoke there. So as we look at these examples below, we're taking 3 times 10, which is 30, minus 7 times 8 is 72, which means that our determinant is negative 42. Let's try it again. Negative 1 times 8 is a negative 8, minus 7 times negative 5 is a negative 35, which is really saying negative 8 plus 35. Negative 8 plus 35 is... 27. Okay, so now let's look at the next one. We need that number to find our inverse. So we're saying if we have some arbitrary matrix, so this A, B, C, and D just represent some letter, some numbers in our matrix. The inverse is 1 over A times D minus CB. Remember this is just in a fancy way to say your determinant. Okay, A and D are going to switch places in our matrix. And C and B are going to switch signs. So if it's negative, it'll become a positive. If it's positive, it'll become a negative. So let's look at finding the inverse of these two matrices. First, we need the determinant. I'm going to use that DET represent the determinant. So I'm like, okay, 3 times 5 is 15 minus 2 times 8 is 16. My determinant is a negative 1. Now we're going to use this formula. 1 over my determinant of negative 1. This is going to be to find our inverse. We're going to switch the places of 5 and 3. So 5 will come to the upper left, 3 to the lower right. Switch the signs of 2 and 8, so it will be a negative 2 and a negative 8. I'm fine if you want to leave it like that, or otherwise this is just a scalar multiple. We're multiplying everything by a negative 1, because 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. So it will become a negative 5, a positive 8, a positive 2, and a negative 3. This is our inverse. And what it's saying, don't, if you don't trust me, you can try it out, is if I take this and I multiply by the uh, original matrix I had, you would get the identity. You would get 1, 0, 0, 1. 
Try it out. You'll be amazed. For time's sake, we're moving on to number four, and let's look at this determinant. Negative one times eight is negative eight, minus negative one times, sorry, negative four times four is negative 16. When you subtract the negative 16, that's really like adding 16, so we get the determinant is eight. So then to find our inverse, we do one over our determinant of eight, we switch negative one and eight inside the matrix, those elements, we switch the signs of these two. So this positive four will become a negative four, this negative four will become a positive four. You're welcome to leave your answer like that, or you could distribute the one eighth such that one eighth times eight is one, one eighth times negative four is negative a half, one eighth times four is a half, one eighth times negative one is negative one eighth. Either of these two answers are your inverse, I accept either one.